the last week of residency ever. first case today was a pancreatic cancer that we were going to remove, but once we actually went in to do the surgery, it had spread beyond what is resectable. Basically, we went into the abdomen laparoscopically, we put in a camera, and then we found a bunch of spots of what looked like metastatic cancer, and so we took off one of those spots, sent it to pathology, they looked at it under the microscope and determined that it was cancer, and so the procedure that we had originally planned was aborted. It's only Monday. So I'm getting some fresh air for our second case, which is also a pancreatic cancer. So one of my goals this year was just to be more intentional with doing things that make me happy. And one of the stupid little small things that I've been doing is going out in this area where there's trees and it's outside and it just makes me feel better. So now every time that I have even five minutes, I will come out here during the day. The funny thing is that I've been here for five years and in the five years, year is the first year that I actually even discovered this area. I didn't know it was here because I would always just hide out in the hospital. <laughs> Basically, I would just make excuses. have five, 10, 15 minutes and I'd be like, oh, well, there's no point in going outside if I have to come back inside and I have to work and I have to do this and that. Now I just come outside. We're eating my brownie, listening to the birds chirping and I feel better. <laughs> some lunch now we just finished up the second case it was a whipple it actually went pretty well i'm just getting some food really quickly before we start a third case which is actually going to be very complicated <laughs> it's just like complicated because i should be optimistic but it's going to be a complex case my lunch view the third surgery which was a redo hepatocogentrinostomy and now I'm gonna go check on our Whipple patient from earlier. I just said good morning to security. <laughs> this weather makes me so happy. It is 6 30. I'm going to the gym right now to work out because today was a lot for me. <laughs> it was honestly just a lot. So I need to work out to de-stress, get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow is a clinic day. It will be a little more chill. I'll come in, I'll round on all of our post-op patients and all of our inpatients, and then I'll head over to clinic. And then Wednesday's another operative day. <laughs> I am really trying to look more lively and less sickly in these vlogs. It is not working out. Apparently this is just how I walk around looking all the time. I had no idea. I can't believe this is my last full week as a general surgery resident. I will be a plastic surgery fellow after this, but the fact that I, am, I will be done after this as a general surgeon. I will be a fully trained general surgeon. What? <laughs> and I actually like general surgery. I'm not going into plastic and reconstructive surgery because I don't like general surgery. I think that general surgery is great and I could totally see myself practicing as a general surgeon. Weird, it's kind of nostalgic because I feel like I'm saying goodbye to something. Like I'm not gonna be practicing general surgery even though I've spent the last five years learning how to do it. <laughs> I don't wanna work out like I have to work out. I told myself I was gonna work out at least four days this week and it's gonna happen. I can't be lying to myself. If I can't trust myself, who can I trust? Good morning and happy Tuesday. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I woke up feeling like I worked last night because I had dreams that I was working. Because if I don't work enough, now I gotta put in hours in my dreams too. <laughs> what is that? Anyway, today's a clinic day, thank the Lord. So we get to go in a little bit later. I still have to go in, round on all my patients, and then write all the notes, orders, and whatnot, and then I'll head over to clinic. I do not have an intern on this service, so I've reverted back to being an intern. I'm like a chief turn. Honestly, I am gonna miss these palm tree views. outside. It feels so good. <laughs> Let me show you my little view from my favorite corner of the hospital. <laughs> yes, my favorite part of the hospital is not in fact in the hospital. <laughs> I am going to be making another video soon where I kind of break down 
my entire journey through medicine. I just haven't had the time to film it yet. In a nutshell, I've pretty much never taken any time off. I graduated high school, didn't know I wanted to be a doctor, then I decided to be a doctor. I did pre-med for four years. I graduated with a Bachelor of Science, then I did medical school. Then I went straight into residency, and now I'm going straight into fellowship for three years. Let's see a new console. Put the Alani in the fridge, in the freezer, and then I took it out, and then I accidentally exploded it everywhere. I saved some. It was just a whole disaster. I tried to then squeeze it out through the little hole that I made on the side and it didn't work. 5 p.m. on Tuesday. It's been a long week. <laughs> I'm heading over to the gym now. We're gonna get a good little workout in because tomorrow I'm probably not gonna be able to go work out because I have a dinner to attend. It's kind of like a little graduation dinner that the reps are putting together for us. And I'm gonna go home and finish up a million modules for fellowship that I still have not finished. And I'm going to try to do some board studying because I've got about a month and a half before I have to take my written boards for general surgery. This is the exam that encompasses literally everything that I have been learning for the past five years. Everything general surgery. No pressure at all. I also just got my call schedule for plastic surgery fellowship. And I don't know how it's gonna be yet because obviously I haven't experienced their call. I don't know how busy it is. I don't know how much they get called. I don't know how many times I'm probably gonna have to come in. The majority of my chief here has been Q2 home call or 24 hour in-house calls when I was on trauma. That was the absolute worst. <laughs> it's fine. I do not want to work for 24 hours. I don't feel like it's in the best interest of the patient. It's probably not in my best interest either. I had a very meaningful patient encounter today. It was a young patient that has cancer and it was just a lot. And I tried to explain everything as best I could. And then the patient was super thankful with me and was telling me, you know, thank you for taking the time to explain things. And it almost made me want to cry because that's number one, literally my job and what I'm there to do. But the fact that they said that that's not super common in healthcare kind of make me made me sad. Maybe I'm just soft now. I don't know what happened. But ever since my daughter had surgery last year and my fiance had surgery last year, I just every time that I see a patient, every single time, I imagine what they are feeling and I think about their family and what they're feeling. And sometimes I almost feel like I feel what they're feeling because it's a lot and I think as healthcare providers we tend to forget that and we kind of put up a wall and protect ourselves but it's okay to have some empathy and to feel what the patient's feeling to a certain extent so that you can understand where they're coming from and where their questions are coming from and so that you don't get frustrated with them asking so many questions or repeatedly you know asking the same things I think it's very difficult to be in their shoes and I can't even imagine this is probably the worst day in people's lives hearing a cancer diagnosis or hearing about their cancer surgery or that sort of thing I cannot imagine I have never personally been in that situation and I feel for these people now that I have spent the last 30 minutes dissociating in my car from my weirdly traumatic day, I'm gonna go to the gym. We have some clothes here. I have on sneakers already, so we're good. It's our little clubhouse. It's super cute. but I was craving some wings and pasta. I'm making both. We are running around because I have a lot of patients to see and our cases are starting promptly at 8 a.m. and I have two more born at 7.30 a.m. I don't know what's in this, but I think it's crack. see though this is interesting because i'm pretty sure the only physicians can come in here anyway i just inhaled a chicken pastelito 
This inhaled is not the correct terminology because that would imply that it went to my lungs and it did not, it went to my stomach. But seriously speaking, I don't know how to eat like a normal person anymore. I pretty much always eat like a ravenous animal. <laughs> I'm always in a rush, so I'm always just stuffing things in my mouth. I'm pretty sure I don't chew properly. And it's probably just all gonna, you know, coalesce into a ball and cause me obstruction. I don't think so. Yeah, I'm fine, I've been doing this for years. That was a little dramatic, but. We're gonna go do some surgery on the robot. Our first case is a colon resection for a colon cancer. Yes. Because who wears white shoes to surgery? Me? That's what these are for. It's 625. My social battery is on like 10%. <laughs> but we have our graduation dinner today. We did have a graduation event or dinner last week that one of the attendings put together. It was so nice and so thoughtful. And then this is kind of our last graduation event. Well, tomorrow we do have our chair ceremony where they're gonna gift us our surgical resident chairs. It's kind of a tradition in general surgery graduation. I'm actually not sure if other specialties do this, but apparently when you graduate as a general surgeon, you get gifted a chair. It says where you graduated residency from, and it's, it's literally like a wooden chair, and you just put it in your office. I look sick. Now we gotta do something with this. We gotta turn it into something, and I think I'm gonna wear a black dress. My ankle's still a little messed up, so I'm debating whether I can actually wear heels today, but I need some coffee or an energy drink or both. I'm tired today. <laughs> Makes me feel <sighs> refreshed. <laughs> I'm also having some sort of skin reaction to something these days. I'm gonna pretend it's fine. This is better, I think, although I'm really not feeling this weird reaction I have going on in my face. My closet needs some help, but we're gonna find something. I accidentally got makeup on this, but we're gonna pretend that did not happen. It's fine. We're risking it all on the heels. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Because they used to just drive around in Tokyo. And most importantly, your ability to get us free dinners and free drinks. So looking forward to the minute you guys leave. I personally learned a lot from each of you, from Rachel. I learned that I couldn't possibly hate cats more than I already do. Oh no! <laughs> 
<laughs> want to take it with you? Please just throw it out so she can Thank you. Sorry. It's okay. She's our most fabulous resident. And it's okay. I have it on camera. <laughs> you bought them where? <laughs> It's time to retire the shoes. <laughs> it's tough for two. Okay, so these were the gift bags that I got my co residents, and they are so much heavier than I expected. <laughs> didactics ever as a chief general surgery resident this is insane i feel like i just started yesterday at the same time i don't feel like i started yesterday because it has been a long and trying process <laughs> but today we get our general surgery chairs and that's it they're gonna mail us i think our certificate so we didn't actually get the real ones at the graduation ceremony because we have to finish the last day so I just want to say, if you're wondering what it feels like to be a first generation high school, college, medical school, and now general surgery residency grad, it feels good. <laughs> chair ceremony because it was really thoughtful and I really enjoyed it but I was really trying to just take in the moment so I didn't want to just have my phone out I really wanted to be present and enjoy my last time ever with the people that trained me to become a general surgeon obviously I'm going to tell them this as well but if any of you come across this video I just want to say thank you for everything that you did and thank you for your training and your time and just really thankful for the opportunity to become a general surgeon <laughs> and it's crazy because I feel like I was just graduating medical school yesterday and just applying to residency and it almost seemed like something that was not gonna happen anytime soon. And I just think that I'm very lucky and I really value personal relationships and people that help me along the way. And ever since high school, I've had great people that I've encountered that have just given me opportunities that have changed the course of my life. Also with all the ups and downs and the difficulties of being a new program, I think that Memorial Healthcare System, which I can finally say is where I trained for residency, was a great place to be. There's a great culture, everybody, they hold all of their employees to very high standards and it's something that stood out to me when I was interviewing and held true throughout my entire training. Surgeons don't get away with shit either. <laughs> they have to live up to certain standards in the memorial culture and I think that's super important when you have a system this big. So I'm thankful for the opportunity to train here and everything that I learned and my time here and ah. <sighs> I can't believe it's over. But you know what, it's not over. I'm gonna think of this as a new beginning because I'm starting something new and also I may come back to South Florida. I think I will come back to South Florida. It's very likely, so. <laughs> Another champagne mojito over there. Went to this place called Little Hen. It was like the cutest brunch spot ever. Had some coffee, I had an omelet, had some champagne, and because I don't have to go back to work today, <laughs> my attending was just like, I'll see you tomorrow. I was like, all right. I am just so relieved and I'm just so happy to have a little bit of time off, but not really time off. I'm going to work tomorrow and then I'm off this weekend and then I work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday is my last day of surgery residency ever. And then from there, I'm going wedding dress shopping the next day. I'm packing up my entire house to move and 
I'm gonna hopefully go to the beach and just get some relaxation time while also studying for my general surgery for <laughs> It's actually not gonna be super relaxing, but I'm, I'm not I'm saying that I have all these mixed feelings about everything that's going on right now and I think I've figured it out. I'm so relieved and so happy to be done with general surgery residency, but I'm also sad that I'm gonna be leaving my co-residents, people that I've been hanging out with for the past five years. And also I'm excited about the prospect of fellowship and the people that I'm gonna be working with and the program and everything, but I hate moving. <laughs> I'm not really, I used to think that I was one of those people that would do really well changing locations and moving to different cities and traveling and whatever. I love to travel, but I don't like to move. I like the whole process of having to adapt to a new location. I'm really happy in my comfort zones, in the areas that I know and what I've gotten used to and all of that sort of thing. So it's, it's gonna be a big change. Good morning, it is Friday. My way to clinic and then we have two cases that we added on at the end of the day. Today I'm wearing the most comfortable outfit that could still pass as clinic attire. <laughs> Gonna go look at my patients and then wrap. Let's go get some coffee. <laughs> Grab some food. I have approximately 13 minutes to do that and then I'm gonna run to the operating room. <laughs> I barely put anything on my face because I still have this weird thing going on. comfy outfit and put on a comfier outfit is it giving she's a graduated general surgeon obviously not because i'm still here at work but so this is a little break area by the or as you can see everybody's cups here some art building morale one little colored thing at a time yeah, the luxurious life of a surgery resident <laughs> We're about to start the last case of the day. Our last case is a laparoscopic liver abscess drainage, and now this case is going to be a resection of a gastric gist. It's basically a tumor of the stomach. Well, before our last case, I went to go see a consult, and the consult was for metastatic pancreatic cancers. I had to talk to the patient, let them know. I don't think anybody had really mentioned the fact that this was probably cancer and that it was probably metastasized to other parts of the body. Have that conversation with the patient and the patient's family. And then from there, I ran back to the operating room and we resected a gastric tumor. Um, we were able to remove it and we basically just stapled it off of the stomach. We sent it to the pathology lab where they'll look at it under the microscope and then give us the final pathology results. And then that will guide whether the patient needs further treatment or nothing at all. It is 6 36 p.m. and I'm gonna go I think I'm gonna go to Sonic. I need some emotional support food and I'm really into their cheddar poppers lately. <laughs> it's not going to make everything better but it will make me feel a little bit better. <laughs> and I am off this weekend so yay. Good. I'm gonna try one of these cheddar poppers. <laughs> strawberry slush I already feel better <laughs> use fried foods as a coping mechanism absolutely do I recommend that you do that no if you have time you should probably get proper therapy it's 8 30 p.m. ignore the mess but here's a reminder to wash your brushes because I'm pretty sure whatever's going on with my face is because I forgot to brush to wash these in the last two weeks <laughs> Good morning. We already took out the carne for the pozole that I'm gonna be making later. We have my fresh flowers. These are beautiful. My fiance got them for me. He's always bringing me just because flowers and I can honestly tell you they make my entire life. <laughs> Looking like a whole bum, but I was going through and reading some of you guys' comments on YouTube and they are the sweetest thing in the world. And I was just replying to as many as I possibly can. I will be editing more videos. This is gonna be one of them and posting. Get to some board studying. Give myself some coffee with honey. Mm -hmm. 
Hoy soy Isabela y hoy estoy inflando en dinosaurio. Y yo inflé estas bolitas yo sola. No sé por qué está trabajando, pero... <risa> Pero, son el que le voy a decir después de trabajar, le voy a decir que venga y que venga al patio y después que venga para que la moje. Tampoco, no me importa si la mojo porque a mí me encanta mojar a la gente. Y me encanta mojar. Y también me encanta esta y las cascañuelas. We're still going and we moved on to an energy drink. Oye, entonces, ¿quién paga? Dice, no tiene dinero, mamá, no tiene dinero, papá, tú tampoco. Entonces, ¿quién paga? Ahorita veía al cabulito cachillo tiene el dinero. Le digo, entonces, ¿tu papá? Tú sí. Yo no. Sí. ¿Papá tiene? No, papá no. Tú sí. Yo no tengo nada. Ella no, porque ella nada más compra cuando tiene dinero. Él no, y a veces sí compra. ¿Él es el que paga todo el tiempo? Él es el que paga. No. Sí. No. Sí. No. Sí. La michelada sí. La mato. Daisy. <laughs> it is 11.41 in the morning on Sunday. Ever since I started recording, I've noticed that I tend to hunch over all the time. I really gotta work on my posture. <laughs> this morning we woke up, went to church at 9 a.m. and then we went over to get some brunch and then I came back home. My fiance is working today. My daughter is downstairs getting ready to go outside and play with grandma. She set up this little, it's like a little mini pool with a giant inflatable dinosaur that she's gonna play in. I'm gonna do some board studying, which sounds super boring. And that is exactly what my life is like right now. It's just complete chaos and me trying to study for boards because I have those coming up. I thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching this. I am gonna make a video for my last day of residency and I'll take you guys with me. I'm Daisy. I love to be with my mom. I like to be with my mom. I like to be in a house. I like to I like to be with my family and I like to be with all my family. Soy Isabela. Me encanta estar con mi familia. Toda mi familia. También me encanta vestirme y también me encanta andar con toda mi familia. Y me encanta ver la tele y me encanta y jugar y jugar. Y jugar, y jugar, y jugar. Like and subscribe to my channel. <laughs>